Hi everybody, I'm Stefan for cgtestfuls.com and in today's quick tutorial we are going to make a bouncing ball in Cinema 4D so let's get started uh, I have already a uh, scene here with a simple sphere with a texture on it and uh, the Seamless 4 and the AGI Studio Rig from Grayscale Gorilla and uh, as you can see this is how the scene looks like and uh, that's not important the look uh, in this tutorial rather than the animation part so uh, let's get started as you can see if we go to the right view we are right on the floor right now and uh, we want to make the ball, uh, the ball bounce so let's set the Y position to a thousand and go to the first frame and let's set a keyframe then move 10 frames forward and set the position to a hundred and hold down control and set another keyframe then move 10 frames forward again and set this to 750 and set a keyframe and then move 10 frames forward again and set this to a hundred and set a keyframe and now move 8 frames forward and set this to 400 and by the way we are going to uh, decrease uh, the frames uh, between each keyframe uh, in time because uh, the ball moves uh, a shorter uh, distance so let's move forward to frame 60 uh, to frame 46 excuse me and and let's set the position to a hundred and set a keyframe and let's move forward to frame 51 and let's set this to 200 and set a keyframe and let's move forward to frame 56 and set this to a hundred and set a keyframe and then move to frame 60 and set this to 150 set a keyframe and move to frame 64 and set this to 100 and set a keyframe and let's go back to the perspective view and if we play the animation you can see that uh, it's uh, far from realistic or a cartoon look it's uh, pretty generic and uh, it doesn't look good at all so we need to fix that and in order to do this we are going to go into the curve editor here and animate and change the curves so first of all we need to select the bottom points and hold down Alt and Shift and move them oops hold down Alt and Shift and move them like so and then move this as well and by the way when you hold down Alt and Shift and move the first one you'd, uh, you don't have to do it for the second one you just click it and move it so let's make them like so and let's make some more room here so we can see you can see better what I'm doing and repeat the process here as well and select this one and just repeat it and uh, by the way you can zoom here so you can see better even the small keyframes and uh, basically you need to tweak all those frames it's just a matter of time to do that and take the last one and just make 
make it like so and now if we play the animation let's see how it looks so far it's uh, better looking now and probably you might need to tweak some of uh, the points here for example you can just shrink them just a little bit like so uh, but that's up to you you can skip that step as you can see that's how the animation looks like so far so let's save the project and uh, let's move on uh, we need to apply a the former and we need to apply a let me apply it squash and stretch the former and let's make it uh, let's first of all go to the this frame here and let's make it a child of the bow and let's go to the fall off and set this to box and go to the position and set this to zero and let's move to the fall off again and set the size of the box to 200 by 200 by 200 and let's remove the fall off set this to zero and let's go to the object and the the thing that we are going to animate is the factor so let's set this to 100 and let's go to the first frame now on the first frame we need to set a keyframe for the factor uh, at a hundred percent move to frame 9 just the frame that is uh, before the ball hits the ground and let's set the factor to 115 and set keyframe move the next frame and set this to 90 because uh, when the ball hits the ground it squashes now move three frames forward and set this to 110 because it stretches again wet when it's uh, moving upwards and uh, let's go to frame 20 and set this to 100 because uh, the ball is uh, perfect uh, the shape of the ball is perfect at its top point which is frame 20 right now and move to frame 29 and set this again to 115 and set a keyframe move one frame forward and set this to 90 and set a keyframe and then move three frames forward and set this to 110 and set a keyframe and move to frame 38 and set this to 100 and basically we need to repeat this process now move to frame 45 and set this to a 105 and set a keyframe and we reduce the amount of uh, squash and stretch over time because uh, the movement uh, of the ball are shorter and the strength that it uh, hits the ground is uh, not so intense not so strong and uh, that's why we need to reduce that and move one frame forward and set this to 95 and set keyframe and move two frames forward and set this to 105 and set a keyframe for it and move to frame 51 and let's set this to 800 and let's move to frame 55 and let's set this to 105 and put a keyframe move one frame forward and set this to 95 and put a keyframe and let's move two frames forward and set this to 102 put a keyframe there and let's move two frames forward and, uh, and let's set this to a hundred and set a keyframe and let's move two frames forward and again set the same amount 
and at the end set this to 100 and set a keyframe and if we play the animation right now you can see how it looks like and probably you may need to increase the amount of scores and stretch depending of the type of your animation and finally we need to add some rotation to the bow so let's start let's select the bow and let's go to the coordinates and we need to go to frame let's see to frame 64 first of all and set a keyframe for the X position and move to the end and set this to 150 and set a keyframe after that we need to go to the first frame and set a keyframe like so for zero and let's move to frame 64 and set this to 45 degrees set a keyframe and let's go to the end and set this to 400 degrees and set a keyframe and go back to frame 64 and set a keyframe here move to the end and set this to 30 and set a keyframe and right now if we, if we play the animation you can see how it looks like so basically that's the process that's the basic things that you need to know it's very important to use uh, the curve editor here to tweak the keyframes and uh, make them look like so because basically that's the path that the real bow will move on if we throw it on the ground so uh, let me show you a image I saw on the internet uh, showing uh, exactly this motion as you can see here is how the motion of a uh, actual bow looks like so you can see that when it starts to fall it uh, starts to stretch then when it hits the ground it squashes for a few frames and then it stretches again and uh, transforming into the normal perfect circle perfect sphere and then uh, repeating this and each time it's uh, basically as you can see uh, this is uh, the half of the height that uh, of this bounce and each uh, one each one that falls is uh, half of the height of the previous one so basically that's it hope you like uh, this quick tip tutorial and uh, find it useful once again I'm Stefan for cgtutsplus.com and we'll see you next time